So, hello and uh, welcome to a little walkthrough of uh, tips and tricks in Canvas uh, LMS system. Um, we talked about it here in the intro week and uh, maybe you need a little refreshment of some of the things or uh, maybe you can see my uh, tips and tricks and uh, you can see if it's something that is useful for you as well. So uh, let us try and see uh, what I find interesting and how you can get an overview in Canvas. Uh, I know it's a big topic at the moment and uh, you will come to learn and navigate in Canvas uh, throughout your education. So let's try and dig deeper into it. We have uh, the dashboard here. And as you can see, um, this is recorded for the class iTech F21V. V uh, and maybe your uh, your number your class number will be different uh, but never mind uh, it uh, some of the features will be the same and maybe even some of the courses will be the same so uh, maybe you can see here that uh, on top of the images are some uh, color overlay uh, if you don't like that and want to remove that uh, this uh, these dots up up here you can remove the color overlays and uh, see the, the clear image uh, here. This is also where you can get a list view here. So you can see today, Monday, we have uh, some scheduled uh, uh, classes here, uh, the next uh, tomorrow, the same. And then uh, we get a list view of uh, the next uh, couple of weeks and to do and so on. Um, but most of you and the default way to see it is to navigate in this card view here. So in uh, this card view here, we have uh, all the courses uh, that we are uh, enrolled in uh, and we have some extras here in first semester. We have uh, the first semester, we have a class page, uh, which is going to be the same for you throughout uh, your education. We have the main courses, network technology, programming, uh, project management here and uh, embedded systems up here. And then we have the two projects, project one, the intro project, uh, some of you are um, working on it right now, uh, and project two, uh, the one that uh, is at the end of the semester. If we go over here to account, uh, we can go in and see our profile, uh, which was one of the things that I wanted you to look closer to how to uh, edit over here your profile. Um, but in here in settings, uh, it was here that, uh, let us just switch it to Danish here. Let's see if I can, Danish, here it is, update settings. And let's see if it's, we going to refresh it. So, so now, uh, all of this is uh, in Danish and uh, for some reason it is uh, defaulting to to Danish uh, uh, when you receive it. So in here, spro, which is Danish for language. And here you can see rediger instillinger, edit settings. So go in here, find uh, spro here, dansk, Danish, and change it into something uh, that is more suitable for you. Uh, and it should work uh, if you refresh, uh, give it a couple of minutes. So yes, we're back to English now. Over here, you have your student email. And as you can see, mine is not uh, confirmed yet, or this test student here is not confirmed. There is an exclamation mark. So we need to press this and resend the confirmation to our uh, school email. And then we have to uh, confirm that uh, uh, we have this email here. And when we have done that, there is a link between Canvas and uh, your school email. And if you remember that uh, we talked about in studies, you can enable forwarding of your school email to a private email, then uh, the chain should be intact and you'll get information from Canvas over your uh, uh, student email, uh, uh, business academy email, and then forward it to your private email. But better safe uh, than sorry, it's uh, also important that you put in, you could put in an, another contact method here. So if I go in here and want to put in my mobile phone, and I will highly recommend this, finding I have a Danish number, and I will put in my 
private mobile phone here and I will register an SMS. And then I just need to put in a confirmation SMS, as you know from a lot of other stuff and confirmation. So I will do that. And now you can see that my uh, mobile phone is confirmed and now I have it as an, an other contact method over here. And that is useful because then I can go into notifications up here and in notifications here, now I have uh, my student email uh, notifications, but over here with an SMS, I have notifications for my, um, for my mobile number and it is defaulting to uh, not notify me immediately here. I can of course uh, turn notification off if I want, but it's a very good idea to have announcements because then if there is last minute changes or if uh, a teacher is going to be sick and, uh, and, and need to cancel the classes, uh, you can get the information right away. And uh, in these days, uh, then you can do other stuff. But then, uh, when we are physically at school, it is good to know that you don't need to, uh, to go to the school and then uh, wait for a cancellation of the classes. But in here, you have a lot of other options to, to put in uh, notifications. So find, find a layer of notifi notification that suits you. Back here at the, the desk, uh, the, the dashboard here, let's take a closer look to uh, this intro, intro course here, the, the introduction here in first semester. You can see a little notification here uh, on this icon, and that means there is an announcement in this course here. Let's go in and see it. It was the announcement I did on Friday that we'll start the intro program at uh, nine o'clock and where to find the Zoom link for, for the meeting and so on. We can uh, go in and uh, see this notification here, the complete notification with links and so on. Uh, and that is what I recommend that you have these notification uh, for announcement set up so that you will receive this uh, announcement on your mobile phone on an SMS and you can uh, check it right away. It will of course also come if you use the Canvas app uh, on your mobile phone for for the, uh, the, the student app should be quite okay. But if we go back here um, to our dashboard, uh, we can try and go in and see, we also have a little assignment here. We can always already see that we have a uh, little assignment here and we can see that uh, there is a discussion board here as well. Um, so let's try and go in and see what that's all about. Here on the landing page, uh, you'll have uh, some links to the modules that we talked about, um, some contact information on your teachers. And then down here, you have all the schedule points for it, uh, the lectures that are scheduled. But let's go in and see modules here. And uh, as we talked about, each course, uh, network technology programming and so on, will be subdivided into modules. And one module will uh, likely be uh, regarding one day of lecture, sometimes uh, a topic will span more than one lecture, but then you'll you'll get to to know that in in front. But this uh, this Monday, let's take Monday intro week. We had the agenda here, so we could go in and see it. And the icon shows that it's a page, so you can read it. This is a link uh, for a PDF, and once again a, a page here and a link again. So if we move down to Tuesday intro week it was a bit expanded. We have agenda here, the link to uh, the presentation, the PowerPoint presentation that we saw from Trina Maria from the Student Council Center. If you wanted to revisit some of the information she gave us, a couple of links that we used, slides to, uh, to day two and so on. The invitation to Teams from the embedded and the tutor time. And then uh, some of the homework down here. So uh, what I wanted you to do is to start with the uh, canvas basics here, a video you can see. And if we go next here, 
some recommended browsers. And then uh, we had some discussion about how to see web links and videos. And here could be some way to, uh, to uh, go around that uh, and maybe see it. But as you can see on the next slide here, Ella, the next uh, page here, this student here cannot see this test document uh, uh, that is linked to a OneDrive here. But in this, uh, this here, then uh, here it is embedded on a page. Um, and this is much better here. The student can, can actually read the document here. And if we move forward, here is a little information about editing your profile, how to edit your profile. And that was uh, one of the assignments that I put up and uh, get notification here. Here is a, an old how to guide on how to set up uh, another contact methods and uh, how to get an SMS and so on. And remember to put in, this is, uh, this is the old version of Canvas, but uh, if you see the first of this, you saw how to set up uh, notifications for announcements. And once again, the student here cannot read uh, this link page here. So here is uh, your first assignment, the Canvas profile. It's due Friday at two o'clock. It rewards you 10 points. You need to submit a website URL, a URL to your uh, a link to your profile in Canvas. And then uh, it is available, this assignment is open from the 2nd of February uh, morning uh, to the 14th of February on Friday uh, at midnight. So it's open uh, a little bit longer than the due date, but if you, uh, if you upload uh, and uh, submit uh, after two o'clock, it will be, it will be gave, given a label as uh, turned in late. So here you can read uh, presenting, uh, the task about presenting and writing your profile and uh, some interesting things you can see and you are of course more than welcome to to study my profile here uh, if you want uh, to see more of what it is that uh, I put in my profile but please put in uh, some information regarding yourself it's always good to see uh, um, a little bit about everybody and in here you also have our calendar. So if we could go into our calendar and look uh, a bit closer to it, um, we can see, of course, a whole month uh, and a week up here. Uh, and it uh, there is a lot of information here and you can turn on and off all the information over here. So if you, for instance, only wanted to see, um, let's go down and remove this what classes do we need to have in uh, with uh, re regarding to project one. Here you can see that uh, Monday and Tuesday and so on, you can turn that off and see what about network technology. That is uh, this part here. So you can uh, you can turn the, the calendars off, uh, each calendar, each course off, off and on. You have a little inbox here where you can write um, Let's say you wanted to write me, for instance, uh, whoops, not programming. Let's see routing here. And you can uh, start a new conversation and you want to write to, to me, then you can put in a, a text here. And that is a quick way to, to send an information to me. Uh, and it will uh, uh, link to my uh, Outlook as well, my school um, email. But you're, of course, also uh, more than welcome to send me a, an email. Just remember to do it from your school email. Yeah, so I think this was uh, some of the functionalities that we talked about uh, during the intro week. And uh, most definitely there will come more functionalities and uh, you'll find your own way uh, working with Canvas. But I will highly recommend that you use a couple of uh, hours on getting used to how to find information and how to see uh, how classes and uh, courses are structured and get used to finding information uh, because this, because this is uh, even more vital now that we are online, but uh, also vital when, when we are physically in the class. 
So hopefully this could uh, give you an insight to what uh, Canvas can do for us. Mm -hmm.